Hello everyone, my name is Fajar Purnama. On this video, I'll be guiding you to install a proxy server on Ubuntu 18.74 and it's a squid using a squid software or application. So, a proxy server can be either used to bypass censorship or the on the or on the other end is to create censorship where you force your your client to go to the proxy server and then it goes as it goes through a censorship here but here on my case I want to go through censorship so I want to go to make a proxy server that is that can redirect from my ISP so here I'll be doing a squid proxy server installation on Ubuntu let me start again from the beginning exit so for convenience of this video I will connect to my laptop which is a expire E5421 with Ubuntu 18.04 and what else oh yeah you don't need to go through this you can just do this on your laptop but for me I want to try to use my laptop here to connect to the proxy server that I create later locally so first thing the command is to update and upgrade if you're ready and then install squid which are already done here and the configuration is squid on cough so back up it to the original and then after that you configure the nano etc squid dot configuration and here is the configuration for everything I did some stuff so let me return it to its original to squid squid so no need to this I'll do this for the tutorial now this is the original um, configuration but it'll be it's a very it is a very long configuration and documentation so i will just skip to the important part for this video so first is the the port the port is on default running on 3128 i'll leave it like this you can change it if you want then there is visible hostname which is optional visible hostname is optional so automatically detect the system hostname so I don't want to I don't need to do this then the next ones are HTTP underscore SS and the SS list so they are SELs let's go down and it's still a long way so let me keep going and here's one uh, identification so HTTPSS deny other than safe port so what are the safe ports let's find out so here are the safe ports there's for for there is there is an SSL port and safe port 80 21 443 so other than this port So other than those port, deny everything else. So exclamation 
mark means other than safe port you should deny HTTPSS and deny connect other than SSL port and allow local host and managers then deny manager and then allow local host again so what's the difference okay I just leave it like that and finally deny everything so to finish to keep it simple if you want to allow everyone else to connect all you need to do is to comment out the deny all and then change it to allow all and and then after that just go down it will tell you to restart the squid server the command that I will use is to server squid restart or you can do reload to just to restart the configuration but for now let's just do restart and then while waiting let me set my proxy so my the laptop that I have configured proxy here is the on this IP address and port 3128 so let's try changing to a random one see if I will be able to connect to the internet or not okay now that I use a random one as you can see since there is no proxy so it's a wrong configuration I connect I cannot connect but if I change to the correct one I am able to connect so it just shows that it's working so now so that is all if you want all you, and after this you need to put this on a public IP address and that is and which is open to all kind of website which I will do on the next video and before I finish this video let's add some touch up and how to set a basic on the authentication on suite so so I have a limited network resource and I have limited processing power HTTPSS deny all so I don't want everybody to access I want only some people to assess so for example I only want to assess which is only me first is to add this one so of param basic program which is quit 3 basic and CSA authentication method I will put this on okay squid 3 passwords Hmm. then need to add this line if you want to know what this line means I actually don't have any knowledge myself you'll find the documentation in the doc documentation directory or go straight to the squid what you call it to the squid uh, website but for convenience of this tutorial let's just follow everything else and then allow authenticated so the assess list name is authenticated and then to allow authenticated and deny all next we need to create a user so unfortunately you cannot create a non what you call it a non no I don't it's not that you cannot but I don't know how to create a non encrypted password okay so now no etc squid 3 Ah, Squid 3 does not exist.
free so uh, I need to take a look so what is this Wait, wait, wait. Give me a moment. Recently close. Oh, here it is. Okay, it's, it's in user lip script 3. Okay. So I made a mistake. Squid.conf. I need to find squid three. So let's put it in squid passwords. Okay. Let's make it there. So other method of authentication you can find in a no user lib with three and then here they are db database authentication fake authentication ldap and csa we're using ncsa for now now let's put into that actually squid password the username you like i'll just make it simple called username and then the password will be password just for some testing password now let's see how it is etg squid and passwords here it is username and the password encrypted and then we need to reload the server so service or i rather you do like this init.d which is the old way and then squid reload or servers reload squid reload whatever now let's try again google now that's strange it's working fine okay now let's try a private window Yes, as you can see, it requires a username and password. And then username, password. Then I can access. Let's try again. If I use a different, if I use the wrong authentication. And blah, blah, blah. Okay, it doesn't work. Now it's working. And that is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.